Hey, well, thanks for joining me. My name is Anthony Sequeira, and this is a CBT Nuggets micro nugget. We'll keep it short. We'll keep it sweet. This one surrounds the area of the popular Cisco certified design associate certification, and we are going to look at the PPDIOO model. That acronym is a mouthful. Let's see exactly what this particular acronym means in this micro nugget. Cisco has used the PPDIOO life cycle model to describe networks for a long, long time. Now, think about what a life cycle is. Think about a human being. We have that period of time where we're in our infancy for our life cycle. That's right. We're pooing our pants and we're crying when we don't get our way. And this actually sounds like people I know now. All right, no, anyway, so this infancy is part of our life cycle. And then we have, of course, our toddler years. These are rough. We're mobile now, but we don't know enough to stay out of trouble. This is typically described as the terrible twos. And so we have these particular life cycles. You know, there's when you get older and you're in your salad years, I think they're called. I guess all you do is eat salad during that time of your life. But so we can describe the life cycle of a human and it has stages. And that's exactly how a network can function. The first P we see here is for prepare. In this particular phase, we're going to do coordinated planning and strategy, and we're going to be making sound financial decisions. And as you might guess, this particular phase is heavily, heavily talked about and taught in our CCDA training here at CBT Nuggets. Just like the next step, the plan step. When we plan, we need to assess readiness and need to take a look at our network and say, hey, look, if we're about to make changes, can the network and the network personnel ab- absolutely handle those changes. Then we get into the design work in our network. So this D is for design, and we literally start designing the solutions. We go ahead and take the products, the services, and the support, and we make sure that we are designing them in a way that meets the business objectives of the organization. One of the things we preach about heavily in the CCDA course is the fact that we are constantly trying to solve for business objectives in the environment. We're not just designing new solutions because we can. The I is for implement. That's right. After the design phase, we actually implement the solution, and we're trying to make sure we don't cause massive disruptions in the organization when we do this. Then it's time for our network operators to kick in. The network operators work on operating the particular network solutions that we have proposed. Maybe they're, you know, analyzing log files and cleaning up these log files and making tweaks to the implementation implementation and things of that nature. Then we have the optimize phase. This is where we definitely will be making changes, maybe subtle, maybe not so subtle changes to the environment in order to get it to work better. And one thing about this network life cycle is it is indeed a cycle that will start all over again. You know, we may have a phase of this where we decide that we're going to suddenly rip out the existing telecommunications infrastructure and we are going to go with a voice over IP network plan. Well, sure enough, we'll have to prepare for this, plan it, design it, implement it, operate it, optimize it. So we constantly find ourselves in various segments of this network lifestyle cycle for the very various projects for the various IT solution implementations that we discuss and that we end up fully implementing as an organization. Now, I want you to know these and know them well and know what might occur as I've given you examples at a particular phase. And before I let you go in this micro nugget, I also want to make sure you're ready for the advantages, according to Cisco, that following the PPDIOO model will bring to an organization. Now, as I stated, Cisco really believes in this model, okay? This is a big deal to them. And Cisco has identified four ways in which the PPDIO network lifecycle model will really, really 
impact a network. First, it will lower the total cost of network ownership. So the bean counters, the financial people are really going to love that you take this life cycle approach to your network. It will really, really get the costs down. Just think about the planning and preparing and designing phases, how if those are done right, these changes to the network will be well, well within budget and will not cause disruptions of the network that could cost the company valuable money. The availability of the network is increased. This one and the next two advantages are absolutely things that we're looking for in this generation of cloud computing now. This cloud computing has really made availability forefront on everybody's mind. I mean, network admins or CIOs of organizations, they expect uptime like Gmail gives. They expect uptime like YouTube and Amazon.com represent. So we need the network to always be available. And we also need it to promote business agility. If there is new some key service that you need to provide in order to stay competitive in your space and you're able to easily and quickly provide that, you have what we call business agility and following this PPDIOO design network lifecycle model can really lead to this really, really great business agility. And finally, following such a life cycle approach will indeed speed access to your applications and your services. This is another kind of assumption that your network will provide today thanks to the reliance on the cloud. The service better be fast and it better always be there. And we have the chance, we have a fighting chance at delivering on all four of these promises if we follow PPDIOO to the very letters. We should be able to lower the total cost of network ownership, increase network avail availability, improve upon that business agility, and finally, get applications and services to our users' hot little hands in a very, very efficient manner. Well, I sure hope you've enjoyed this micro nugget on the PPDIOO model. I sure hope you have found it informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.